Tyr, I want you to watch me from here on out, and then make up your mind. I may not do a good job right away. I may make mistakes, but I'm going to change. All right. I'll be watching you. Please. I will, but don't ever take it for granted. I can give up on you at any time. Anyway, right now, if St. Bina is really going to fall, we have to find a way to stop it. Right. But what should we do? Let's ask the mayor, my grandfather. He should be in the meeting room. Okay, let's go.
Tyr, I was looking for you, about the third phonic hymn. Oh, so he's recovered? Layla, so has the third hymn symbol been discovered? What's the third hymn? One of those phonic hymns you use? So he doesn't know about them. The phonic hymns I use are Yulia's hymns. There are seven altogether. Oh, so the third of those seven? Wait, you always just use two of them. I don't understand the symbolism of the others. Yulia's hymns are useless with only the melody. If you don't understand the meaning and wisdom in the hymns, they're just songs. Oh, that's right. The symbol of the third hymn. There was a hidden page in a book Van left behind. It might be written there. When you have a chance, stop by my place and take a look. Phonic hymns sound pretty tough. Yes, the symbols are very difficult. I know all but the third and the fifth. But so far I only understand the first and second. So if you don't know and understand the symbols, they really are just ordinary songs. Actually, all seven of Yulia's hymns sung consecutively form another phonic hymn. It's called the Grand Phonic Hymn, and it works even if you don't understand its symbolism. The hymn itself is the symbol of the covenant. The whole covenant with Lorelei Grand Phonic Hymn? What power does that have? It's said that the Grand Phonic Hymn and the Key of Lorelei together can summon Lorelei. That sounds amazing! Yes, but the Key of Lorelei has been lost, and I don't know the seventh hymn. So it may not mean much in the end. Ch cheer up! I don't know about the Grand Phonic Hymn, but your first and second hymns have really helped. That's good enough. Luke... Thank you. Oh, Tyr, it's you. And this must be... Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Luke. I'm you! You, stay quiet. I... Um... I apologize for... For what happened at Axeriuth. Ah, you're the Luke replica. I see. You really do look the same. Grandfather! Oh, I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize to us for Axeriuth, however. What do you mean? The fall of Axeriuth is written in Yulia's score. It occurred because it was meant to. What are you saying? I've never heard that. That makes it the same as Hod. It's part of the closed score. Only those of maestro rank or higher know of it. If you knew about it through the score, why didn't you try to stop it? Luke, I'm surprised to hear someone from the Outer Lands say such a thing. A calm, orderly life in accordance with the score is the way of the Order of Lorelei. Well, well, yeah, but... Why are people read the score on their birthday each year? To learn of the next year and accept the possibilities it holds. Then why didn't you inform the world about Exarius' destruction? Yeah, if you'd let everyone know, people wouldn't have had to die. That's the problem. When faced with a score of death, people become unable to live peacefully. Of course, sir. Nobody wants to die. That's not acceptable. Yulia read prosperity for Aldrin's in the score. If we don't move history down that path, we'll lose the prosperity we are promised. We are the Watchers who guide the Outer Lands to prosperity, based on Yulia's score. The Order of Lorelei is a tool for that purpose. And that's why Grand Maestro Moe's held Phone Master Ion and tried to cause a war? Master Van knew about the score when he took me to Axeriuth? That's correct. You told me neither Malkuth nor Kim Laska listened when you warned them about Hod. Was that a lie? I'm sorry. You were young. I didn't want to tell you the truth. But Van knows the truth. Then my brother is planning to take revenge on the world. He said that a world shackled to the score is better off destroyed. 
Kids here, you're mistaken in thinking that Van is trying to destroy the world. It's true that there was a time when Van hated the score after what happened to Hard. But now, he's doing an admirable job as an observer. Admirable? Letting everyone in Axarius die was admirable? You're crazy! There's something wrong with all of you! Not at all. At the end of the sixth phone stone, Yulia's score reads thus. The land of Rugnica will be enveloped in war, and Malkuth shall lose territory. Kimlaska Lanveldir shall thrive, and this shall lead to unprecedented prosperity. We have watched all this time in order to bring that unprecedented prosperity to the Outer Lands. But Grandfather, Van is trying to cause St. Bina to fall. The battle will take place around it. St. Bina will not fall. It is not written in the score. Mayor Teodoro, it's time for the council meeting. I'll be right there. If you two are that worried, take the Yulia Road to the Outer Lands. See for yourself that your concern is groundless. Tyr, let's go back to the Outer Lands. We aren't going to accomplish anything here. Right. But before we go, there's something I want to get from my room, okay? Sh sure. I've been waiting for you. What's the book Van left behind? It's just an ordinary book on phonic arts, but there was a hidden page at the end. Here's a copy of it. I don't know what it means, but I thought you might... This is... Va... Le... Zwe... Tue... Mother... Understanding... Spreading through the land of Rugnica, the magnificent angel's voice. What's going on? Quiet. Tear is meditating. It looks like that really was the symbol of the hymn. Now I understand. This is the third hymn. Were you able to figure out the hidden whatever it was? Yes. Congratulations, Tear. Thank you. Do you mind if I keep this copy? There's information here about the symbolism in the other hymns as well. Though I don't yet know enough to understand them. Be my guest. I'm sure it'll come in useful eventually as you grow stronger. Yes. Thank you. Van hated the score. He was always talking about it, here in this room. He'd stand about where you are now, and say he could never forgive a world that let Hod die. Why does he care so much about Hod? The Isle of Hod was Malkuth land, destroyed in the Hod War 16 years ago. 
It was our home. Hod fell into the cliff off, just like Xera Youth. Van and my mother, who was pregnant with me, fell into the cliff off. Van probably used a phonic hymn. Something happened before I went to the Outer Lands. Van returned to this city, something he didn't do very often. Ash seems to suspect something. Ash is still a bit dainty. He'll cause trouble if he learns that the people of the Outer Lands will be annihilated. Shall we have Singh keep tabs on him? Yes. I thought my brother was planning something terrible. At least that many people were going to die. I couldn't allow that to happen, even if Hod had been left to die because of the score. I swore I'd stop him, even if it meant killing both of us. Tear. But it looks like I failed. I couldn't save ex youth That's because I... I can't blame it all on you. I took an assignment in the Outer Lands in order to stop Van. You're strong. Am I? I wonder strong, but thanks for telling me about all this. I think maybe I understand you a little better now. That's the first time you've ever thanked me for anything. Really? I'm so happy you two are growing close to each other. It's not like that. By the way, what did you come here to get? A book on phonology. I thought you would need it. Why? A hyper-resonance is caused by seventh phonons. I think this will help you learn to control them. Oh, thanks. The Yulia Road is to the right of the meeting room. Let's go. This path connects to the Aramis Spring on the Padamian continent. That place is crawling with monsters. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm scared. It'll be all right, Mew. Here we go. dumped us out into the water. It's all right, you won't get wet. How come? Apparently, the force from the Sephiroth spout pushes the water aside. Those Sephiroth things sure are strong if they can lift the whole land into the sky. And I destroyed one of them. Standing around depressed isn't going to help anything. You're right, I came back here to do what I can. Man, I'm hopeless.
It's about time you showed up, Luke. Hey, you cut your hair. Nice, clean cut. Looks good. It's just like I saw when I was connected with Ash. Guy waited for me. Guy. Huh? What is it? I... I'm not Luke. Jeez, I don't need you talking like Ash, too. But I'm a replica. So? That guy doesn't like to be called Luke anyway. I say take it. Take it? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. You sure have, though. You don't have to put yourself down so much. I'm not. It's just... Sure you are. Who cares about names at this point? You could at least look happy to see me, after I went to the trouble of waiting here for you. You're right. Thanks. Luke said thanks? He says he's going to change. Looks like you never do. you wait for me we're friends right oh wait I'm your servant sorry I'm a replica I'm not your master it's not like I was acting friendly towards you just because you were my master what you're you and ash is ash replica or whatever you're real to me
Do you remember? It was after the kidnapping, so I guess it was right after you were born. What? Did something happen? I asked you if it was hard not having your memory. You said, you can't go forward if you keep looking back. So you didn't need a past. That's what you told me. <laughs> Man, I was stupid. I did not need one. I didn't have one. Actually, I thought it was pretty insightful. All this must have been hard on you. I'm in no position to talk. Everybody died because of me. Part of that's my fault, though. You didn't have anything to do with it. I'm partly responsible for raising you from a blank slate to a selfish, spoiled kid. Huh? From the start, when you didn't remember how to walk, or didn't know, I guess, I was the one who looked after you. I've really learned my lesson. I try to make up for Xerius? That's a difficult question. It's not something you can just apologize for. Yeah, apologizing is important, but it can be hard on the one you apologize to. Why? The greater the loss, the more people need someone to hate for it, you know? You might feel better, but the ones you apologize to can't just say, okay, no problem. Perhaps you should spend your life bearing that responsibility, never forgetting. No, that's too vague. Maybe I should never be happy. Now I know that's not right. Are you sure? I mean, I wasn't even supposed to be born. And then I destroyed Axeriuth. Okay, stop. Stop. No more of that. Hearing you talk like that is just annoying. Guy, Luke's thinking seriously about the issue. Just help people. Use the rest of your life to make everyone in the world happy. There's no way I can do that. I know that, you idiot. I mean, you need to put that much effort into it. Oh, right. I get it. Think.
Jade? Oh, good. I was afraid I might have missed you. Colonel, what are you doing here? I have a favor to ask of Guy. He said he'd wait for Luke here, so I came looking for him. Me? Moses captured Ion and Natalia. What? Oh, Luke, you're here too. You got a problem with that? Not especially. Anyway, if we don't rescue them, there's going to be trouble. There aren't any Malkuth forces nearby, so I thought I'd ask for Guy's help. What do you mean by trouble? With the disappearance of Axeriuth, Kim Laska has begun making preparations for war. They probably intend to use Natalia's death as justification. That's right. The people of the Outer Lands don't know why Axeriuth disappeared. Ion was wary of this and returned to the Order to issue a decree. He was captured upon his arrival. Okay, Luke. We're going to rescue them. There's no way we're letting a war happen, right? Yeah. Should we head to Doth? Yes, that's the idea. In case you were unaware, Doth is southeast of here. I hope you won't get too lost or slow us down too much. Luke, it's not easy to regain trust once you've lost it. I know. Shall we be on our way?
know, is it? Yes. Ion and Natalia are likely being held inside that cathedral. Understandable, since those two hold the potential to stop the war. Mose won't want them to leave Darth. Can't we just tell my uncle about them being captive? Natalia's probably thought to have been killed in Axarioth. I think that'd be difficult. Yeah, and Mose has the King's ear too. Let's help them ourselves. Annis is looking into things at the Order. Hopefully, we can find her in the city. I guess we'll have to look for her. you a favor? What's this all of a sudden? I've been thinking of using this phonology book to learn to control hyperresonance. Will you teach me? I'm afraid not. I can't use the seventh phonon after all. <sighs> I guess I'll have to ask Tyr then. If you don't want to learn from me then... I, I never said that. Would you teach me? Okay. How much longer do I have to keep doing this? Quiet. Don't just close your eyes. Listen for the phonons flowing through the world. Like I could hear that. Don't listen with your ears. Feel them with every phone slot in your body. Uh... Do not listen with your ears. Feel them with every phone slot in your body. Feel them with every phone slot in my body? Yes. Phonons are a combination of sound and elemental properties. It's rare to see them. But your phone slots can perceive them. They feel the vibration. Drawing those phonons into your body is the basis of all phonic arts. Yes, ma'am. I understand. Good. Then let's stop here for today. Tyr, you have talent. I suppose I should expect no less from one who shares Van's blood. Th thank you. Don't let that go to your head. People may treat you more harshly simply because you are Van's sister. As foolish as that is. I understand. I'm ready for that. Then that's enough serious talk. Tyr, I've been given a letter for you from Van. From Van? He's looking forward to seeing how you grow. He eventually plans to ask you to become his right hand. Practice hard so you can meet those expectations. But Major, I couldn't imagine anyone at my brother's side other than you. Why, thank you. But all I can offer is my meager cunning and my memory. So for his sake, no, for your own sake, more than anything. You must grow strong enough to survive. The world ahead of us will be fraught with chaos. Yes, Major. I hear it. 
Enough. Remember that feeling of power overflowing from inside you, of your body trembling. Those are phonons. Yeah, I think I understand. Don't rush yourself. This is only the start of your training. I know, but yeah, thanks. the spoiled brat here. Hey, the others are with you too! Wow! Must be Lorelei's will, huh? That voice could break glass. Annis, we've gathered the manpower to rescue Ion. What is their situation? Ion and Natalia have been taken to Oracle headquarters beneath the cathedral. Do they let people just walk right in? Into the cathedral, sure, but only Oracle members can enter the headquarters below. Can we sneak in somehow? If we don't find a way to rescue them, we really will have a war on our hands. It looks like it's already starting. Tyr, you still haven't reported back that the Seventh Phone Stone was fake, correct? Can you take us into the headquarters as witnesses for its discovery? Okay, I'll try asking the Minister of Affairs, Maestro Tridheim. 
Well, that Tridheim guy's inside, right? Let's go on in. Go from here. I don't know. We'll have to search the whole place. We'll get caught if we do that. We'll have to do our best not to draw attention. And we can't have them calling reinforcements if they spot us. We'll have to make sure we leave them dead. I wish we didn't have to do this. It can't be helped. 
If we don't hurry, war really will start, and many more people will die. I'm going to make even more people hate me.